All right, what's up, guys? Uh, this is BG, and we're here today setting up the new version of Epic Lights that's going to be releasing very soon for you guys. But at the time this video has not been released yet, still need to work out a few of the kinks, but it's basically done. So what I'll go over right in this section of the video is setting up the plugin from bare to the bare bones parts of it, just like the headlights, r running lights, rear lights, etc., etc. So what you want to do first is find your car get the model inserted all this stuff will be gone by the way it's just like I told you it's not finished and uh, you know yeah I, anyway let's just drag this put it into plugins then take your lights model which I already have set up here and put it into lights and that's that done so what you want to do next is take your lights mesh for any of your lights like say here's your low beams right here both of your low beams are right over here so you take both of your low beams and find the headlights model, find low. You see there's L bricks already in there. These arrows tell which way the light the light is supposed to emit from. So if the arrow is facing forward, it, the light is going to emit this way. So what you do is drag these in here. You duplicate them. Go down, go down here to name and set them LN. And then if we go into here, if we go test it right now, this, the script have, should have already set it up. And turn the lights on. There we go. It now works. This is the process you're going to use to set up each and every single light in your plugin. So each and every single light in this is exactly the same way. You LN, you duplicate it, name it LN. You keep the other mesh in here at, to act as a backing for the other mesh. That is going to have the neon on it. So the indicators this time are separated into two different models, but it's all the same. LN with the static mesh behind it, and the interior lights even the same thing. LN, none of that CLN crap that I did in V3, but it's all L and LN just separated by two models. Plate lights, L and LN, rear, bunch of LNs, but that's because we have because this, that's just the way this car is set up. Oh, and what's this? We have a new feature, reflectors. I haven't put in anything in here because really I'm only using the indicators as a way to do the reflectors. I'll get into that in a minute. But that is the way that each and everything is set up. So now I will get to the misc the mis items over here. Alright, so now let's get into the setting up the pop-ups. We'll do the pop-ups first and then we'll work our way back. So the pop-ups, what you want to do is go into the configuration module script, find the pop-up section right here, set pop-ups enabled to true. This will enable your pop-ups and allow them to be used. Next, what you want to do is bring the pop-ups model inside a misc weld all the way down to misc. And drag, I'll just drag them over here so you can see them better. There we go. Now, since these are in MISC, they're not welded. What you need to do now, if you set any set anything up in MISC weld before you know what I'm about to do next, but we go into MISC weld, we take the lines of code that are providing instructions. I'll also put it up on the screen right now. But we place these two lines of code into MISC weld, and this will weld our pop-ups to the car. Now it should it should all be ready to, ready to go. So now we just gotta go and test it. There we go, because you can see it's welded to the car and not doing that. Now if you press B, there you go, your pop-ups go up and your lights will work. It's just the way the texture is, the, tr the light's not as bright as down here, it's just because of the way the texture on these pop-ups are, but that is how to set up pop-ups. Now we will move on to the door, the door lights and the interior lights. So now we'll get into setting up the doors. What you want to do, grab the doors from the doors folder drag them into MISC then grab the door motor script put this in body then grab FL and FR and put those in body as well this these are the hinges for the doors and this is what they will pivot off of so let me move the doors back over and this should work I mean they will probably won't per pivot perfectly I just gotta oh, let me adjust that real quick all right I've adjusted positions so now what you want to do is going to configuration for your door indicators you want to set this to true now 
These these doors inside the models will come pre-packed with everything you need, like the binder wall vent for your door functionality and the interior lights, and your indicators model, which will have which will house your LNs for your door indicators. So then, what you want to do is hit play here, test it out, and we'll see when the door indicators. So you can see the doors open and the doors will close. So they're fully functional. So you get in the car and bam. There you go. And excuse that, that's just a weird thing that happens with the car. But it also runs in free time without needing a second extra script. And that's how you set up the door indicators. Now let's get into setting up these interior lights. So I already have the lights set up inside inside the interior model right here. I'll just close all these other ones real fast. So I already have all these other ones set up in here. So now what you need what you need to do is go into the config, enable interior lights. If you have the opening doors, enable door functionality. It's fine if you set that to false, it won't, it'll still work either way. Uh, now what you want to do is drag other light stuff, put this into body, and now you should be able to go and test it out and it should all work. Once you open the door, your lights come on. Shut the door, they shut off. You go inside the car. Let me just zoom in the first person real quick. That is a really weird camera. And once there should be click detect there should be click detectors right here. Uh I I dragged it away. But yeah. Anyways, there should be click detectors right where you want your interior lights to turn on. So once you click those, that's that should turn on that should override the door functionality and they should always stay on unless you turn them off. And last up on our menu is the trunk lights. So what you want to do is you grab the TK model that will be um, in, provided inside the model for you. Drag that down. It's the same kind of setup for the doors as well as the trunk. The trunk. It's a similar setup. So the trunk, put that in the MISC. Put trunk wherever trunk motors is. Yeah, put in trunk motors into body. And then put TK into into the body as well. Now let's drag the trunk over here. And there we go. Should be all should be all good. Move the hinge and now what you want to do is go into the configuration. Go with the trunk lights, set that to true. And now your trunk lights should be working. They come now. There's a new addition to the trunk lights. Now we can have indicators on the trunk lights. I have not set that up yet. I tested it. It works though. All you have to do is just put it left in, right in, and it all should work perfect. Rear, reverse, brake, and let's just go test it real quick and show you that it works. See the trunk opens, but it's a bit laggy. Yeah, there you go. And get into the car. Press the brake lights. There you go. Reverse. Once you start the car. There you go. That's how you set up trunk lights. Now I say let's talk. Uh, let's start talking about some of these new features that have been added to Epic Lights and how to set those up as well. Uh, colors. There, uh, there have been some that have been removed. Some that have been reworked. But all in all, they should still work the same. Um, to use a custom color, put the text like this, and then get the color code from a brick like, uh, say when we want to get the color of this this trunk, for instance. Go to color, not this menu. Copy this, and then paste it into here. Then see the color see the color icon changes right there. That means you've changed the custom color of the brake lights. So now when you turn the brake lights on, it will be that blue color. Just to ease any confusion from that, like many things in the script. Now we move on to pop-ups. Pop-ups here. Um, the pop-up hinge angle, self-explanatory, but there's also a new setting called pop-up hinge type. I've gotten some complaints and some suggestions from people wanting to, having to use their pop-ups in weird and awkward angles and it's not working out for them with just one hinge. So I added an option to change that and you can use two hinges now to make your pop-ups work. 
to just change this to dual, go into misc weld, type in hinge one, parts one, hinge one right here, copy this, and paste it below, and change to hinge two, hinge parts two, and hinge two. That basically enables your, your dual pop-ups to work, and that is how you set it up. Now your brightness settings right here, you can change the light brightness here, but try not to make it too big of a value because these lights but the values are technically doubled because each light inside of the LN, the L brick gets double, gets this brightness. So if you make it like 10 or something, it's going to be very bright and people are going to get very angry for your, for your bright lights. So these are just the default values. I, these seem to work the best in future lighting. I'm not sure about shadow map if any of y'all still use shadow map. Um, the light type right here, um, you can change this to incandescent or LED. And LED basically just a faster tween, just like in real life, instead of it being so snappy that I had to make um, a whole nother conditional statement for everything. I don't know why I was doing when I was doing when I made that script, bro. But yeah, I think I think that about covers how you set up Epic Glitz before. And let me know if I need to add add anything. And I will see you guys later. Smashing the game, game. Rolling through the cities fast as a game. Got a